Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a random password generator with C Sharp console applications. And to do this, we open a console application and we name it random password generator. And we wait a little to open. And once it opens, we remove some stuff. We change the name of the class from here into a random password generator and we start creating the code. So in order to do it we need to make a private const string capital letters. And it will include all the capital letters that we know of. I just use my keyboard one by one, so it's faster. Then we create, uh, and we put semicolon at the end. It was a little better idea to make it this way. Yep. Then I make a second private const string, and it would be small letters, and it would pretty much be like the first string, but just the letters would be small. Then we create digits, private const string digits. And these are the digits. And the last thing that we need in our, in our passport would be the special characters. And these are the special characters we would be using. enough special characters so we will create private const string all chars and it would be equal to capital letters plus small letters plus digits plus special characters and we need a private random so private static random and it will be named rnd and whenever we say rnd we will get a new random so all this thing should have been in the class not in the main but defined here and just a second to fix the code to look a little better in the name actually program is not a good name for a class but random generator random password generator so let's see what we do here in the main method we make a string builder and the string builder is named password and whenever we say password we'll get a new string builder so we need two capital letters in our password in order to do this we'll make this loop cycle so for int equal one to i two we increase i and we take the char capital letter to 
generate char capital letters and we use insert at random positions password and capital letters capital letter okay these are methods which we'll create later so we need also two small letters in our password so we pretty much say the same but we just will make it for small letters so it is char small letter equals generate char small letters and insert at random position I'll copy from here I'll just change I'll just change the the back of the parentheses here so it's not capital letter but it should be mm -hmm. it should be small letter so what do we need at least one digit this is what they usually say one digit and one special sign so we need char digit nothing for nothing else we need just generate a digit and then we use it again insert it random position password digit. and let's continue what else do we need yeah some special characters let them be three so for i equaling one and i less or equal which reminds me that we should also fix it here let's go equal to three increase i and do the thing that we have already done a lot of things a lot of time special character generate char special char and insert at random position at random positions password special char what comes next we also need to generate some random characters so the guy who is always looking into our password really doesn't know the, the size of our password whether it's exactly 6 or 7 or 15 digits so we'll just generate some random characters between 0 and 7 in order to do this we do int count random next eight this is exactly between one zero and seven so for i equaling one to i less than count i plus plus and the char special char close generate char all chars yep 
Do you remember this was old Charles? And then what we do is insert the random positions. Password special Charles special Charles. Yep, and then we just write password. Pretty much it's easy, and pretty much that's it. But we haven't made some of the methods, so we have to continue making the methods with the methods inserted random position, private static, and it's void because it doesn't return the value. Insert it random positions and we take string builder password and char as character okay what do we do there random position equals random next of the password land mm -hmm. plus one of course and password dot insert random position comma character okay Top underlining, unless I have made some grammar mistake there. So, yeah. so the only general thing that is underlining is this general right char and this special character. We should like this so it doesn't underline okay so we continue with the method generate char private static char generate char and now the red thing should disappear not now but when you understand it's a method Everything disappeared. Well, that's great. Why this is like this? New line in constant this is what it says. Generate char. Okay, let's do. And random index. We declare this variable only for the method here random next a variable chars of length so char random char equals variable chars random index and it should return a random char and you may ask how do we know it it should return a char because it says here see here it says char so it returns a char here it says, it says void so it returns void here it says void and main so this is the one that should be executed and something that i really don't like here but probably one of these signs Oh, it wasn't this thing. So let's start with control and F5. And this is our password. We can also write in the here. Your new 
password is and you can also say here your password consists of how many elements which would give us the size of the elements so you see your password consists of four so I just put a few lines here because I kind of don't like this button press uh, another button to continue so now we have an element a password of 10 elements and now we have a password of nine elements now we have a password of nine elements and you can play eight elements you have at least two digits a uh, small letter three signs and a uh, low letter so pretty much that's how to create a password generator which is pretty useful yep so congrats you may use the code on its site vitoshacademy.com so yes thanks for watching bye